So for when you're facing oppressors, it's important to freeze them and then you use the axe spam cancel. So remember to, uh, as a driller, you, you, you need to learn how to axe spam cancel. So you freeze them, and when they're freeze when they're frozen, you use the axe spam cancel. Maybe they won't they won't die in the first two axe spam cancels, but they'll they'll eventually die. So okay, guys, we're doing a hazard four mission. It's a point extraction mission in the Hollow Bow, one of my least favorite uh, biomes in this game. So the reason we're doing uh, Hazard 4 is because uh, Hazard 4 offers uh, a good challenge, but it's also a really completable mission solo. Instead of uh, you know going Hazard 5, because I'm really, I'm not that I'm admittedly not that good <laughs> in this game, so I'm not able to complete Hazard 5 uh, consistently. So yeah, this is one of the examples where uh, you'll be using the Wave Cooker when you're not able to. Uh, reach your enemies with the cryo cannon and that's why the wave cooker is really one of the best weapons uh that's partnered up with the cryo cannon so i made a mistake here i should have frozen those exploders yeah because when you freeze the exploders uh exploders are like swarms wherein when you freeze them they already die and what's even better is that they don't even explode when you kill them with your cryo cannon. So I'm trying to look uh, for more open spaces where we can possibly find more aquarks. So yeah, that's the beauty of uh, using the cryo cannon. You can just like spread it everywhere, and then use the uh, use the collect wave cooker as a follow up to kill them. So yeah, when you're using the Reeler, always remember that you can use a C4 to uh, quickly get the Aquarks or eggs in an egg hunt. So here's another uh, Aquark vein, and we're using our Satchel Charge again. Alright, so it's not yet dislodged. <laughs> Alright, so when I'm doing this, it kind of reminds me of uh, playing in Payday 2, wherein you keep on throwing bags and then you keep on cashing it <laughs> until you make it to the van. <laughs> so I'm no stranger to that kind of mechanic of uh, throwing and catching objectives in the game. So when you're playing solo in Acorn Collection, always remember that you can use Bosco to dig, to dig for the Acorns. And also for um, Mitra, of course. It's also always important in Solo to look for Nitra as much as possible in the early part of the game. Because you don't want to uh, be starved of ammo and health later in the game or even in the mid-game. So yeah, when you hear those uh, sounds of uh, like things scratching the soil or earth yeah that's always not a good sign <laughs> and it i become more sensitive to it uh, when i'm solo <laughs> by the way without any teammates to rely on <laughs> so here i make a mistake you're not really supposed to melee uh the swarmers i can i think you can pickaxe them but it's not worth it to use the drills on them it's even better to just use the cryo cannon because it's because they easily die from the cryo cannon. Yeah, I made a mistake there. I told Bosco to uh, release the aquark, and I shouldn't have done that. I should have let him just follow me all the way to the mine head. So, guys, what what is your least favorite uh, biome in Hoxis for? Mine is Hollow Bow and Fungus Bogs. Because in Hollow Bow, there's all these uh, thorns and all these uh, spine things, tentacles that can kill you, damage you. And also, I don't really like fungus bugs because there's a lot of uh, goo on the ground that can slow you down, really hamper your movement, and cause you to die. And they're also one of the, uh, they're also two of the darkest biomes in Hoxie's 4. 
So here I'm telling Bosco to mine the A-Quark. And uh, that's something everyone should do regularly when you're playing solo. So I'm trying to get down here. And yeah, we have a swarm. Alright, that's a lot of uh, swarms I'm hearing. They're scratching their way out of the earth. Oh man, I shouldn't have uh, used the pickaxe on that uh, exploder. I should have used the cryo cannon instead. So always remember when you're using the cryo cannon and the uh, collect wave cooker, it's like a one two punch. Yeah, you jab with the cryo cannon and you launch the two, the straight with the collect wave cooker. Sometimes it's okay to just uh, use the wave cooker, but it's usually done against uh, enemies that are too far away or enemies that are too fragile, you know? You, do you don't really need to freeze them. Oh, there's an oppressor here. Oh, there's there's two oppressors. So, uh, again, this build doesn't really excel in si high single target damage, but it will surprisingly do well against oppressors and praetorians and i'll show you why later in the meantime i'm really I, i'm in danger of being swarmed here <laughs> yeah so it's always it's always important to control them with the cryo cannon if you feel that uh they're getting always too close to you uh always be, be able you should always be able to freeze them so that you don't feel that that they're being close uh, behind you. So there you go. This is what I'm talking about. This is like one of the most ideal situations that you can do when you're being mobbed. Okay, sometimes it's okay to just use the drills without freezing them. But usually you only do it like when there's only one or two enemies around. So for when you're facing oppressors, it's important to freeze them and then you use the axe spam cancel. So remember to, uh, as a driller, you, you, you need to learn how to axe spam cancel. So you freeze them and when they're, freeze, when they're frozen, you use the axe spam cancel. Maybe they won't, they won't die in the first two axe spam cancels, but they'll, they'll eventually die. And you have a lot of ammo also uh, to use uh, on on them because we're using with we're using the improved thermal efficiency build for this one. By the way, I think I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna post a picture of the of the uh, cryo cannon build in the early part of this uh, game. I'm gonna post it now also, <laughs> just in case uh, you you guys missed it. <laughs> so yeah, let's keep on uh, moving this a quark to the mine head. All right, we're done, and yeah, I'm not gonna do the secondary objective anymore. We just really need to go because the faster we. I mean, the longer we stay here uh, during a quark collection, the lesser our chances of surviving the mission. The lesser are also our sur our chances of completing the whole mission as a result. So the thing is, I haven't really had uh, totally AT Nitra, and that's why I'm really looking for the Nitra. I I'm afraid that I might run out of ammo. So yeah, I think I already have enough uh, Nitra to call down a drop pod. I mean, to call down a resupply pod. Alright, sometimes you can just freeze them and then you can use your uh, power pickaxe attack. If you don't want to dri if you don't want to melee drill them, you can use your power 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 attack, or you can even um, use your axe, your axe throw. All right, so we're about to finish this mission, but we also need to resupply. So yeah, I'm just I just threw that C4 just to uh, just in case I'm getting swarmed from that direction. 
So there's a... Uh, what do you call that again? Spreader. Yeah, so I'm, I'm using the Collect Wave Cooker on him because he's too far. Oh, Septic Spreader. Yeah, Septic Spreader. So you can drill him when he's frozen. So yeah, it's, it's really important to use the Wave Cooker on enemies that are that can be reached immediately by your Cryo Cannon. So there's two more there. And keep an eye on the gauge of your Wave Cooker. Don't let it reach 100% so that it doesn't overheat. Yeah, you'll notice that when you're holding down the left click on your Wave Cooker, a gauge will build up. So it's important not to let that gauge be full. So with the Praetorians, again, it's almost just like with the oppressors. You freeze them and then you Axe Spam cancel them. Uh, Praetorians are easier to kill. You can usually kill them with just one uh, Axe Spam cancel, unlike the oppressors, which usually need uh, two or three. If you're lucky, you can do it once. Brandon, just freeze them. Then use your wave cooper. So yeah, that's rinse and repeat. Then when there's enemies that are too far away, you can use your wave cooker. If you need HP, uh, you can freeze them and then uh, you can use your drills, you can use your power pickaxe attack, or you can even use your your axe grenades. Axe spam cancel them. Yeah, you usually don't need to uh, axe spam cancel uh, with it grunts. Or the uh, softer enemies, you, you usually use Axe Prime Cancel on the harder ones like Praetorians and Oppressors. So we're just gonna drill there. So one caveat I think about this build is uh, you need to look, you need to uh, conserve your driller ammo when, when you're doing mining expedition. And that is if you're uh, gonna use your drills to make a beeline for the uh, drop pod. So for now, uh, we finish this. Wow, that thing really wants to kill us. I think I'm hearing a bulk detonator, but we are just escaped. So yeah, nice, nice game. So yeah, that's how you use this build. Again, uh, I hope uh, you find this build useful. It's a really great... Uh, not really great, but it's a really reliable and dependable build that's gonna save your save your skin more times than not. <laughs> so I hope this uh, really helped you guys and hope to see you next time.